All right, in this problem, we are asked, while running cross country, Mr. Risser runs eight kilometers east and then turns to run seven kilometers north. What is Mr. Risser's di displacement? Displacement includes both a magnitude and a direction, so we have to figure out how far he went and in which direction. So to start, we're gonna draw ourselves a picture. It says, Mr. Risser runs eight kilometers east. Okay, so we're going to use our typical directions here. North, south, east, and west. We're going to look at them on a piece of paper. All right, so drawing our picture, we see that Mr. Risser runs 8 kilometers east. So I'm going to make the starting point right here. Draw an arrow going to the east and label it 8 kilometers. Then it says, then turns to run seven kilometers north. So from here, he turns and runs seven kilometers north. Okay, and I'm asked to find his displacement. Well, displacement is the shortest distance between the two. So I'm going to go from my start and draw an arrow, straight line, best I can, to the finish. And the question asks us to find both the magnitude and the direction. Well, let's start with magnitude. We need to figure out how long this green side is. So looking at the picture, I see that I've got a triangle here. Not just any triangle, but a right triangle. So since it is a right triangle from your geometry class and your pre-calc class, you know the Pythagorean theorem. So we've got the Pythagorean theorem, which states that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, okay? So it's a square of the legs, add them together, and that will be equal to the hypotenuse squared. So substitute in, one leg is eight, the other is seven. Go ahead and solve, so eight squared is 64, seven squared is 49, 64 plus 49 is 113. And now we simply need to take the square root of both sides. And it's about 10.6 kilometers. Because all of our units were originally given in kilometers. That's the fairly easy part. The second part, we need to find the angle. So the first thing I'm going to do is label the angle in my picture so I know which angle I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and label this angle. And now I want to know what is this angle. Well, I know three sides of this triangle. So I've got a lot of options here. All right. We go back. We think from our trig and our geometry classes. We remember... Sokotoa. Now I've got two exact distances and one that I rounded. So I'm going to go ahead and try to use the two exact distances and ask myself what sides of the right triangle are these in relation to this angle we've got. So with, in relation to this angle, 7 is the opposite side and 8 is the adjacent side. And so now I go over look at my trig functions and I'm looking for one that has both opposite and adjacent. I've got opposite hypotenuse, adjacent hypotenuse, opposite adjacent. Now again I could use these. I rounded this. If I use just the square root of 113 I'm not rounding anything. That might be fine as well and even the rounded number will be okay but I'm going to go ahead and use TOA. Well that means that the tangent of the angle is equal to the opposite, which in this case the opposite is 7 kilometers, 7 kilometers over the adjacent, which is 8 kilometers. And now you need to remember how do you undo a trig function? Well, you do the inverse. So we've got the inverse tangent of tangent of theta is equal to the inverse tangent 
of 7 over 8. Okay, remember to do the same thing on both sides. Inverse tangent and tangent cancel each other out, and I'm left with theta is equal to 41.2 degrees. And now this, if we have a picture, we know what angle we're talking about. If we don't have a picture in front of us, we might not know, so we should really write it out a little better. So I'm going to say that his displacement is 10.6 kilometers at 41.2 degrees. And then I'm going to put some information in here. I'm going to say that to get to this angle, I went north, in the direction north of east. Okay, I started with east and went north. So I'm going to say it's 41.2 degrees north of east. All right, now you might be asking yourself, well, what if he hadn't ran, or ran directly eastward or directly northward? What if he had done something like this and run at an angle kind of northeast and then turned and went directly east? and then maybe turned and went directly south. How would we find his displacement then? Well, these two would be pretty easy, very similar to what we just did, but this one, we would have to do something called vector resolution before we could start adding those. So if you'd like to learn about that, go ahead and watch the next video.